Hey, good morning. Good morning. How you doing today? I'm all right, yourselves. I'm all right, I'm all right. You know, happy to be alive in here. So what's your name? My name's Janetti. Okay. They call, me, they, they call me Star out here. Hey, Star, okay. Yeah. All right, is that the only nickname you go by? No, nah, they call me Nitty. Nitty? Yeah, okay. They call me Nitty, but Star, Star's for, for down here, you know. <clears throat> Okay, so they uh, your name is Nitty. They call you Star. Yeah. Out here, I see you got the tattoos. Do the tattoos represent the nickname, or that came first? Well, the tattoos came first, and you know, the more I got locked up, the more, you know, people people didn't know me. They didn't know me in there, but they identified me as Star. I was going in there. They was calling me Star. I didn't know who the hell they was talking. You know, talking about, but right. They didn't know. They didn't know me, so they they just called me Star. Call you star, yeah, but I, it's, 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 it's the meaning behind those, but that's another story. What's the meaning? Are you really don't want to speak on it? Uh, it you know, coming like growing up, mm -hmm. like, I found myself wanting to be like, find, like being a part of things and right. finding some type of like, let's say family. I have family, but um. I traveled a lot, and uh, I just I found myself dealing with you know joining gangs and dealing with gangs and things like that. Um, and that that was that was the main thing. But you know, overall, like I just love I just love uh, the color red. Right. right. Yeah. Were you like a, a former gang member? Um. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, I have a, a 16 year old daughter and 11 year old son, 8 year old son. So, okay. As um as a like as, as a teenager, 17, 18, 19. Um, uh, I traveled uh, through Jersey, stayed with my cousin, um, Hallsboro, Woodbury, and things like that. And okay. I ended up ended up in Atlantic City. And, um, well, I ended up in in, in, in Elizabeth dancing okay. out there and. And I ended up in Atlantic City, so um, yeah, it took it took a toll on my life and my family. But that um, it scared me. I don't want to say it scared me straight, you know, but I I, yeah. I, I experienced enough through it and right. with it to like put that and like you know on the shelf. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Being out here in, 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 in Kensington and North Philly, is, that's, that's, that's also like living, you know, a, a, a very dangerous, you know, life, like like being in the gang, but just right. not the gang, you know, you could say trapped to the life of the, to the drugs out here. You know, a lot of people, that's like myself, we don't, you know, don't have many ways to, to or, or things to turn to um, and then put our, our past, our stories, our pain, our anger, um, trauma, right. and, and just we really don't have many ways to express how we feel. So we turn to myself. I turned to drugs at right. an early age. At an early age. Um, yeah. I started drinking when I was like 15. I started snoring coke when I was 15 in Puerto Rico, smoking, doing different drugs, but. I was more of a binge drinker. Like I binge drink because I wanted to. I drink until I like I got messed up, like so tore, like tore up. Like, and, so, um, so um, I couldn't really hear you that well because mm -hmm. of the background. Um, you're smoking coke at a young age as well. I was no, yeah. I started snorting coke snorting first. Coke, yeah, okay. snorting coke and drinking a lot of a lot of alcohol. Okay. Um, but that turned into smoking coke after a few years. And from yeah, this, it, it's it's a domino effect. Like uh, absolutely, I started sm uh, smoking it, and from smoking it, I started doing dope. I tried to find something to bring my you know bring me down. Right. Like my heart rate, is, you know, I, I used to do a lot of coke. It would make me feel like my heart was gonna bust, or I had you know you think it's like you want to have fun and stuff like that, but you know you really can't have fun. Like, I, I was scared that my heart was gonna bust a lot of times, and that's not cool. Like you, you know, I was, I was trying to get high so I could enjoy myself, and it, it stopped being about enjoyment like a long, long time ago, and um, it just became about, I guess, self medication. Mm. So you was raised by um, your dad? Yeah, I was raising my dad and my stepmom. Like, um, I lived with my mom for a little bit, but my mom 
<clears throat> my, my dad like found her to be <clears throat> a rebellious mom, and um, so he took he took he took custody of, 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 of me from my mom. Right. Like I didn't want to be. I, I I thought it was um like he was too strict. Like I didn't right. want to be with my dad. Um, I was angry. You know, I wanted to visit my mom um, because she like I had she had me on the weekends and then. One weekend, my dad went to take me to like see my mom, and my mom wasn't there. Uh, we went to a few different houses, different places, and one of her friends said she moved back to Puerto Rico, so she went back to Puerto Rico without even saying bye. Mm. So, growing up, at, you know, like a, as a little girl with my dad and stuff like that, um, I really wanted to be with my mom, right. and uh, I, instead of it being like him being like overprotective or strict, like my dad did everything I needed him to do, like everything from school to health, everything I had that I needed. Um, and I started going to visit my mom in Puerto Rico um, when I was about nine, 10 years old. Okay. And when I started going to Puerto Rico, um, I'm not sure how we, you know, deep we could get into this, but this is where it started for me. Um, I started getting abused in Puerto Rico by family members, um, mm. and it was two of the closest, like closest people you would, you know, you would, you know, you would want, like the closest people that I would expect to be able to go to to help, like for help, like to protect me, to defend me, and um, like that shit, that was sad. That's, it was that messed me up. Like, uh, that, that messed me up a lot, but I never said I didn't say anything for a long, a long time. I would go back and forth to Puerto Rico every summer um, because my dad was too strict, and I wanted to see my mom. Um, I was going out to the bars with my mom. I was like, my body was developing. I was 14. I looked 18. Um, you know, at 15, I got pregnant. I had my daughter at 16, and like every time I came back from Puerto Rico. Like, I was more and more rebellious, more and more developed, more and more angry. And my stepmom asked me one day, you know, if anybody was doing anything to me, if anybody was touching me, anybody was abusing me. And um, I told her, I told them the truth. So right. that's where it started. That's where it started with me. Um, the drinking, the, you know, I was angry, you know, and I couldn't take it out on my dad. Like, I want to smoke cigarettes and I'm still 15, you know. Right. Um, I'm a whole bunch of different things, and it was it was just so much chaos, like so much chaos, so much chaos in my brain and my and my my heart. Um, I didn't know how to express myself. Um, I, I would implode. I want to like pull my hair out, you know. Drive my, I was driving myself crazy, um, and I just found that I turned to every drug that made me. To make me feel better, alcohol, cigarettes, weed, crack, coke, and, and then I ended up on, 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 on dope. Um, I used to dance, I was in ballet, I was in tap, I used to play basketball, you know, and because I was hurting inside, didn't know how to deal with it, like, it led me to dealing with one of the harshest drugs, like one of the things that I told myself I would never do. Um, you know, you know, there's so many people out here that ask me why, like, and tell me I'm beautiful. You know, um, I grew up with no self esteem. I didn't love myself. I didn't, believe, like, I didn't believe in myself. Um, I didn't see any of that. And I get compliments every day from all types of people, but, like, I won't believe it. I, I don't see it until I see it myself, you know. And it's, it's compliments weird. from compliments from, from all types of people, you know, um, all types of walks of life, you know, older women, young kids, you know, beautiful like beautiful women, blonde hair, blue eyes, you know, um, men, old uh, business people. Just people you come across. Every type of person, like people that I would think that I like more people more more beautiful to me, you know, like, or better than me. And they see things in me that I don't see, that I didn't see in myself. Um, it was weird. Like, like, so that don't, do that, that don't make you think at all? 
Well, yeah, man, I didn't even think, People but... People see all this good in you, and you don't see it in yourself? It's crazy because that's 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 part of the insidious disease because this shit will take over. No matter what you think, you know, your, your talents and what, you pretend, mm -hmm. what your, potential, your potential is, what you got at home, your family, that don't matter because the feeling inside of you that you have and that you know that the only thing that's going to... That's going to that's going to bet that and shut it up for a while is, going, is that drug. Right. You know, that the beauty, you see what, like I said, you see my neck, you see my face? You see like a vampire bite, mm -hmm. like a zombie bite. Mm -hmm. That's not what that is. Those are, those right. are track marks. Right. You know? So can I ask you, right? Um, you've been through some traumatic stuff in life since a young girl. You know what I'm saying? You ever thought about getting therapy? I, you know, I, I, you know, okay, so you have. Like, when it came to PTSD, anxiety, depression, uh -huh. like, I was a little girl already, like, going through it, you know. Right. Again, I was being abused, I was already being molested and raped by nine. Right. So, um, that's, it took a toll. It's, it, took a, it took a toll, you know, dual diagnosis, you know, trauma, and, 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 and the whole the drug thing. Um, I've been in, in and out of IOPs, like recovery houses, OPs, meetings, inpatient, all types of stuff. Do you feel like uh, you do any mental illness and depression? You do, right? Is it because of the stuff you went through as a kid in Puerto Rico? That's a, that's a, that's yeah. a big part? That's a, that's a main, that's a main thing. That's what I blame. That's what I blame it on. Right. Like I, I blame my life now on those that did me damage when I was little. Like I really do. You know. Um, what happened to that person that did it? They still alive. Have your uh, father figure out what he wants to do about the situation, or? Well, my yeah, my dad wanted to. My, my dad wanted to kill a person, you know. And he had to come to the you know realization that he's also raising my two little brothers and my son. Wow. And and holding up a household, you know. Um, so sorry, y'all. Uh, you find yourself doing that a lot, you know. Right. Um, well, before we wrap it up, I just want to ask a couple more questions, all right? So do you want to get clean? Do you want to get out of this life? Oh, yeah. So if you get some help, you get some some people behind you that want to push you and stuff like that, would you take initiative and do it? Yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, the last three weeks, I got jumped twice, you know. Out here? Yeah. By who? Oh, you can't really say this. Oh, okay. It's, just, it's you know, some crazy shit. Like, like hurt. Right. Like, is somebody and, that was close to you that jumped you? Or? Not at all. Not at all? Not at all. Do you and, work the Ave? The street corners uh, out here? Prostitution? Uh, Dates? Yeah, yeah I, I think. I Dates, don't, my I, bad. I, I, mean, I don't do it during the day. Right. I don't do it during the day. I don't stand on the corner. Right. You know. I network, you know. Right. I talk to people. I talk to people, meet people, you know. And I definitely, I make, I, I make, I make ends meet. Yeah. Um. That, I've, I've had guns put in my head on dates. I've had all types of stuff. I've had to fight for my life on dates plenty of times. Plenty of times. Did and I ever uh, make you not want to do it anymore? Yeah, but, you know, it's, 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 it's one of the easiest, like, it's not easy, but I've gotten comfortable with it, you know, like, it being the way of making money. Right. Um, I've gotten used to using my body and my beauty as, 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 as getting by. Right. And, um, okay, Excuse gonna... me. I'm sorry, you guys. That's all right. That's all right. Don't do that. Nah. Nah, it's okay. Uh, right. We're gonna it's wrap it up. We just got I got one more question for you. Um, Listen, my, my cousin, my cousin called, um, asked me if, if my dad paid for a ticket to me to go to Cali to get clean. Yeah. If I go. Right. You know, and they said that I wouldn't be able to. Um, I wouldn't come back until after a year, you know, after right. me getting jumped. So, um, I said, yeah, you know, and, um, 
I'm actually going to see my family today. Um, and I'm going to finally have a first conversation with my dad about this, but I'm, 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 I don't think I'm going to see my dad up on his offer. Please you know? do. Please do. Yeah. We're rooting for you. Star. I want my family and my kids to see a different me, you know? And, and, and that can happen. It takes you first. Please take off, take up on that offer. Please. Please. If I don't, Change your life around. You know, around. You know I'm, I'm going to die. I'm going to die, die I'm out here. We I'm, already I'm, know. I'm going to jail for life. I'm going to die. Was, that was my last question. Yeah. I don't even got to ask anymore. Jail you don't want, you don't want, you don't want to die. That was going to be my last question. Yeah. You answered it for me, see? Yeah. Uh, Star I want to thank you for your time. You, All time media is rooting for you. you. Much love. Much love. Love you guys.